Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for this. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You ready for this? You know what I'm holding in my hand? I'm holding the answer to snowmobiling's biggest question. Anybody, any, any guesses? Toasty top. I know, I know. So after we did the snowmobile ride for Christmas with Lav and everyone's like, holy cow, you guys are going about this all wrong, all wrong. You're, there's a lot better way to do it. Lav and he falls asleep and because he didn't have anything to hang on to, we'll say. So I got him hanging out in the center. So everyone says, you need some toasty tots. And I thought to myself, I said, toasty tots? That sounds like something you eat for breakfast. So I, I anyway, so I look it up and I find it. So what this is, is a, it's a set of handlebars for the kid to ride in front of you. Check it out, buddy. What is it, dude? What do you have on? You want to show him to Maymay? Yeah. Dude, what, look at that, it's your own set of handlebars. <laughs> look at this right here. How do you hold on, show me. Is that handlebars for you? No, this is kids. More concerned with the with the wire. Libby knows what to do with the handlebars. That's your own set of handlebars, Libby, for on the sled. The solution for riding with your kids in front of you, Toasty Tots. They have their own handlebars. It's even got a hand warmer. It's even has a hand warmer on it. So we're gonna go put those things on and we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see how how it works. And I, I can't claim that the kids are not going to fall asleep, but at least if they fall asleep now, they got a little handlebars to rest their head on. All right, let's go put these things on. Toasty tot time. You ready for some toasty tots, buddy? Yep. Yep. <laughs> He's ready. Here is the toasty tot E. We're gonna read the instructions and figure out how to put this toasty tot on. Toasty tot, we got some handlebars, some instructions, uh, looks like spacers, a couple zip ties, some wires. Looks pretty simple. Looks pretty simple, buddy. Instructions say we need a 3 8 Allen. Well, that's a big Allen. You need a big Allen. That's a big Allen. Three quarter wrench. We need a big Allen. We need a big Allen. Three eighths Allen, pretty good size. It's not the one on the little key thing, so that's a little bit of a hurdle. Um, three quarter nut, not a big deal. I think outside of that, it's just electrical. So if you're not electrical, you may have concerns, which I'm not, but I'm gonna do my best to get that power. That's all I gotta do. Power, ground, and the, the system will become alive. But speaking of alive, I would like to get alive. We gotta get, we gotta get in on one of these guys here. Time to come alive. Are you vroom vrooming on the vroom vroom? Yeah, we got vroom vroom. Vroom vrooming on the vroom vroom. I've done a lot of vroom vrooming over the years, buddy, but I've never vroom vroom on another vroom vroom. Wait. I take that back. Trevor John, I did vroom vroom on his vroom vroom. It was an accident, okay? An accident. Anyone from old Snowcrest days knows what I'm talking about. I had to go to the principal's office for that one. <laughs> All right. Hood's off, buddy. Let the hood off. So it says. So I like want to think that maybe this is like a really, really easy one. I'm gonna check their website. I think they got some ideas there. There may be an easier way. Hold on a second. I think it's just a man thing. It's like, you know, you never want to read the instructions, I think is what the, what the problem is. So once I read the instructions, it says most, most Polaris's have a two prong accessory on the dash or underneath the dash. So 
I have a plug for that where I can just wire it right in. Super duper duper easy. So now it's just fine in that plug. Here's the hood. So let's go under it. Oh yeah, yeah, see that guy? Where you at? Right there. See him right there? That little two-pronger? That's all I gotta do. All I gotta do is plug it into that. Like, I can make any two-minute job into like an hour, okay? Because I don't read the instructions. So now I can put the hood back on. I don't need to take it off in the first place. Really? Well, I guess maybe I did. Maybe I did. I need to crimp this on with this plug. Plug it right in, super easy. They got it all kind of set up. I don't really have a lot at my, uh, at my house for tools, so we'll see what I can come up with. Okay, see this? I think I can crimp it with that. I don't think they're meant for this application. But, you know, sometimes you gotta make things work. All right, super seat crimper on, wire installed. Like I was saying, after I read the instructions, Polaris has a two-prong adapter, so we're gonna two-prong right on in. Here's my wire, I ran it through the dash. Here's this one, two-prong plugger right in. Oh my goodness, if this is all I have to do, I'm gonna like jump for joy. Okay, two prongs in. You should probably zip tie it up a little bit. There's a lot of wire in there. Anytime you have loose wires, they seem to magnetic to the exhaust pipe and they burn through and then all of a sudden whatever had power no longer has power and you have this funny smell. Now, I got the, uh, I gotta get her in position. So it's not gonna be that big of a deal. I mean, it's literally one bolt. The issue is, is I don't have the 3 8 Allen. So I can show you completed. I'm going to do what my dad said never to do, right? He used to always get on me when I was a kid. He'd say, he said, screwdrivers are not pry bars. <laughs> Use the right tool for the job. I don't have the right tool. All I got is a bunch of pliers. So I have to take a pair of pliers and hold that Allen while I tighten that nut. My lovely assistant... She just arrived. Boy, I came in at the right time. Yeah, <laughs> just need your help. Here, come over here. What you're gonna be is, you're gonna be the wrench, and I'll be the plier. I would like to document that this is my first time. Wrenching? Ever wrenching on a sled. <laughs> it's kind of like racing. You can't go fast if you don't look good. And with you, you can't, you can't wrench good if you don't look good. Right, That's does that right. make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this holds up here. Okay, use tighten. My, uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. No, you're going down. Go down, yep. I was going up. <laughs> yep, it's a... Uh, there's got to be a faster solution. Well, there's gear wrenches, there's ratchets. There's all kinds of better I'm solutions. Use my Boy, I'm going to have to speed through this section. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Jeez. Remember, you got to... I knew. You can't be a good wrench mm. if you don't look good. Oh, so, tight. Make it count. Everything you got. Okay, good, good. Oh, it's, do you see this? He's busy. Mommy's busy. Levin's busy too. Levin's busy too? Yeah. Oh, what are you doing down there? Um, switching. It's installed. It actually would work out really good for a cliffhanger. I could stick my feet right under here. Okay, what do I do when I'm on a like, I'm riding by myself. I don't want like an extra set of handlebars to run into. So all you do, you simply take them off. We've got it on, it's ready to go. We're gonna go for a little rip. Toasty Tots. <laughs> what a cool idea. Was it the answer to the biggest problem in snowmobiling? 
I don't know, man. We're always trying to find more snowmobilers to come into our sport, and what better way than to bring your kids or younger people into it? So, very cool idea. Couple things you gotta watch out for. You gotta make sure the little dial knob's tight, and uh, make sure you got the bolt tight so that it um, it doesn't move up and down. But outside of that, super easy install. And Lavin loved it because it was his own little handlebars. They move as I move my handlebars, so he thought it felt like like he was driving. Super cool idea, so thank you guys, all the YouTube folks that watch the videos, because I wouldn't have known about the Toasty Tuts unless you guys, if it weren't for you guys telling me. So thank you so much for commenting and liking, and we're, you know, we're really, really pumped on it. So it's cool that there's that uh, community of fellow snowmobilers, fellow people that are, uh, that are watching the videos. So stay tuned. We got some big ones coming up with X Games, a couple other cool trips coming up. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.